We're excited to be back for another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan. Alongside Amy Malloy, we use every Wednesday to explore ways to boost your positivity and help you to feel a little more present. Let's talk about trauma. You don't have to be in a horrific accident to experience it. Big T trauma is the name given to severe experiences we universally recognise as being traumatic. Things like abuse, illness, war, childhood neglect or violence. But there is another level of trauma. Many people in the field of trauma use the little t trauma. This is according to Dr. Sarah Woodhouse, a trauma expert and the author of the book, You're Not Broken. Other little t traumas can include routine medical procedures, slips and falls, breakups or infidelity, the loss of a job, a business going under, a parent's mental health issues, bullying or social rejection. Only you can really know your traumas, says Sarah, because only you know your reactions. The times you felt in danger, when you felt extremely overwhelmed, when you felt like your body was frozen. A little T trauma from the past can affect how you think, how you feel, and how you react today. So how can we support ourselves? First, we have to offer a disclaimer. This is a very big topic. Seeking professional help is always advisable to process any kind of trauma. But there are ways you can ease the impact on your day. This includes grounding techniques, according to Sarah. Grounding techniques are a way to reconnect with the present moment. The aim is to stabilise yourself and try to avoid feeling panicked. Stating the obvious is one way to do this. Out loud or in your mind, reconnect to your identity today, says Sarah. I'm 28 years old. I live in Australia. I have two children. I work as an executive assistant. These are the facts that you know for sure. Now, remind yourself that your trauma is behind you. My reaction is from the past. It's not about me today. There are other ways you can ground yourself, says Sarah. Look around you. State the obvious things you can see. I can see a red notebook. I can see a crack in the wall. I can see a tree through the window. The aim is to focus on the tangible and not get lost in a memory. Trauma recovery is slow and steady, says Sarah. It's also unique and belongs to us. Some days you might need to do this multiple times. Sometimes you might like to stand up and sometimes you'll prefer to sit down. Trust your intuition. If your little T trauma is turning your world upside down, take a breath and ground yourself. State the obvious. Remind yourself who you are today. You're you. You're not your trauma. And that's a fact. I'm Casey Donovan, and you've been listening to The Space. Tune in tomorrow for another mind-shifting episode. What's black sheep syndrome, and how can it hold us back? Until then, space out.